Welcome back. We are excited to have a conversation about a highly anticipated film here at Sundance 2017. It combines a great deal of experience both in front of the camera and behind the camera as well, but also a fresh look at what we all know to be a familiar face and a seemingly familiar story, but of course the beauty of documentary filmmaking and storytelling here at the Sundance Film Festival is about revelation. Rory Kennedy is an accomplished film producer and director in the documentary form with over 35 films on her roster of experience and she brings her latest effort here to the Sundance Film Festival in January of 2017. The film is Take Every Wave, The Life of Laird Hamilton. This is Rory Kennedy and the subject, Laird Hamilton. Welcome, y'all. Great Thank to you. have you here. It's great Thank to be you. back. Yes, welcome back, indeed. And nice to see you once again, Rory. If you would start, talk about, uh, with all of your collected experience, talk about your decision-making process, I guess kind of in general and what you'd like your next project to be and also deciding to make a film about someone who ostensibly is very well known in the public eye and yet we all have a story that is ours and ours personally what was your thought process like well um, Laird and I are neighbors in California so I've known him for a few years and our mutual friend Paul Speaker had uh, brought us together to uh, explore the idea of making a documentary and um, you know as I got to know Laird and his story more I felt like it was really deserving of a feature length film that really um, went a, a bit deeper into who he is what drove him to do the things he's done um, both personally as a as a big wave surfer um, but also in terms of being an innovator and really changing the sport pretty dramatically over the last 50 yeah. years um, and and understanding kind of what drove him and what motivated him and what enabled him to do that um, I felt like was a story that went well beyond surfing um, and and was something that you know I think a lot of people can relate to and would be curious about you know what 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 does it take and and really so the film goes back into his childhood and uh, is really much more of a character portrait than than I think um, what we would expect in a typical surf movie. Um, so I think there's a lot there that's never been seen before, both in terms of archive and, and also understanding Laird. Complex. Yeah, complex. Laird, for welcome. Sure. Thank you. Great <laughs> to see you here. Right, thank you so much for that introduction. On one hand, of course, you are a very chronicled athlete and person. Uh, the, the media has, has followed you very closely for a lot of years. That being said, talk a little bit about what it's like to have a conversation with someone who is, has clearly accomplished so very much in storytelling. Was there a, a desire that you had uh, prior to, to having these conversations with Rory, or was it kind of like, well, I maybe never thought, but now that I'm talking with this person who I, I can trust to tell my story the way that I would be comfortable, was there any difficulty in making the decision, or, or were you in right away? Well, no, I, I mean, the, the decision-making process, I mean, to have the opportunity to have someone uh, of Rory's caliber and, and her intelligence and her point of view look at, you know, my life or, or the things I've done through my life, um, was it made complete sense to me it was more about it, you know if if she would if to have someone like that be interested yeah. um you know and that and that and that is the material interesting enough to draw her in and 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 to take a year of her life and dedicate it to that you know and does it have that kind of you know does it can it have power uh in 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 the way she needs it to have power uh in order for her to do the things she do, you know the things she does which is make movies that have meaning and so uh, you know I think that was the you know that was more of a it was a b bigger decision for her to decide that than it was for me to decide to have her once she decided I, I would you know I would uh, I was you know honored to have the opportunity to have you know her her point of view aim towards this you know my subject because I felt that you know that that's you know that would be an opportunity to create something unique uh, and and I didn't my intention was you know not to make a 
a surf movie. I think I've been in surf movies before, but I've never had a desire to make a surf movie uh, other than you know us trying to document things that we were doing. It was more like by default, like, hey, we're doing unique things, and sure. so we want to document them, so at least there we have some sort of, you know, uh, some sort of, uh, uh, you know, chronicle of it in, in order to, you know, so later on you can go, oh, yeah, well, you know, we, we documentation is a way to kind of, you know, uh, capture history. We did it, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Well, or, and was, or was it what we think it was, or whatever that is, because in our mind we've done a lot of great things, even though some of the greatest probably moments of my life have not been documented, and, and those are for, you know, you and your, you get to save that for your, you know, in your heart. The ultimate <laughs> hard drive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rory, I, I have a, uh, an imagination about this that somewhere maybe early on, especially with someone who has been chronicled so much in the media over a very long time in their lives, that uh, there was a lot of wealth of information kind of from a, a, a I don't want to say a production standpoint, but kind of a storytelling standpoint. It feels like there's a collaborative air about the two of you was there a kind of a, a yeah a I mean work? you know I think our relationship has developed over the course of the project um, you know we we met each other to talk about this film early on I had met Laird a couple times at you know various friends parties or what whatnot but I didn't really know him or his story so I think it's been it was sort of a process over the course of the film um, but you know one thing I will say is that from the very beginning, you know, Laird has been and was very open uh, to the idea of doing this project. And, you know, I had demands that I think other filmmakers wouldn't, right? I, uh, you know, I was looking for great archive and great surf shots, of course, but I also wanted to sit down with Laird and have him tell me his story and, you know, open up about things and over many, many hours. And he's not one who's very inclined to sit down. Down. And he's also not one, uh, you know, who kind of is happy thinking about the past. You know, he's very much in the present or, you know, thinking about the future. So I think those things weren't necessarily comfortable, but he, I think, understood the value of them and the importance of them um, and was, you know, answered every single question I asked and was very open and I, I think emotionally honest. And, you know, those those moments make a film, make a film, right? And, and you know, we were able to, we had a great archive team and they shared their archive with us and, and so we were re really able to dig into that and um, get footage and, and photographs that have never been seen before. Um, so I think there's a lot in this film that people who are know Laird very well and are very intimately aware of his history and his past who will um, learn a lot in watching this. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> I learned some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot about, well, that's the, a good sign. <laughs> about the term universality because on one hand, Laird stands as a very singular person in the sense of, of your accomplishments, your life journey, and of course, as a surfing fan, I'm, I'm also a fan of a, a lot of guys that you've spent a lot of time over the years with Dave Kalama and a lot of the people that have been very close to you in your, in your big wave career, and yet, even though this is an iconic type of person and the little bit I know of your backstory, there's a commonness that so many of us have experienced, even if we haven't gone on to do the same kinds of things about what we overcome in our yes. childhoods. That is, is a, again, that's a universal story. Yes, and that was part of um, what attracted me to this film is, you know, I, I, I did feel like there was a story here that was beyond the sur story of a surfer, right? And I felt like it, you know, it spoke to me. I'm not a surfer, although I've surfed, but I'm not a surfer. This, the idea of kind of pushing yourself to your own limits and, and then beyond that, right? And um, not just doing that 
on a, on a personal level, but also doing it to the sport, right? And I think uh, all of us, you know, as we go through this world are, you know, we face challenges and we have difficulties and how we navigate that terrain is, you know, what makes a life on some level. And so I think that um, Laird has really spent a lot of time in that space, you know? Yes. <laughs> and so it's interesting to kind of document it and to understand it and, you know, for example, understanding his relationship to fear, right? I mean, a huge thing about big wave surfing is you're going to die and then you're going to fall and the water is going to push you down and you're never going to get back up, right? I mean, that's a huge uh, part. I have been, I'm going to die in head high surf, so yes. Right, so that's a, you know, and when you doing. see somebody up there doing it, you're like, oh my God, <laughs> you know, that looks so scary. And oh, yeah. so, the relationship to fear, and we all have that, is, you know, and, and Laird having spent so much time exploring that, I mean, living in that space and what he's learned from that is, I think, something that everybody can understand and relate to. And, and you know, so there are, I think, many ideas in the film that um, I think reach well beyond the surfing community and, and to all audiences. And, and you can see why. I'm so glad that Rory yeah. was <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. doing the film because of that, just those perspectives of, you know, uh, speaking to the bigger, the bigger picture of that we're all people, we're all governed by gravity and, you know, sure. fear and all these things and, you know, and, and it's just, uh, surfing just happens to be a, 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 you know, an activity that has a beautiful wave and a scary wave and that's a, you know, and that's a, that's a mesmerizing thing that draws you in to watch it, but it's still we're still dealing with all of the same. I'm dealing with the same things that 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 every other person deals with in life. I got to breathe. I have to eat. I have family. I have friends. I have. I'm scared. I'm this. I'm you know all those things, and I think it's you know there within lies something special. You know? you know, and I think that, you know, you look at Laird and he looks like he was the quarterback in the high school football yeah. team and, you know, he had a, um, he had an easygoing life, but the reality is that he, you know, he comes from a broken family. It was a very difficult childhood. He, he really lived in poverty, although I don't think he would ever look at himself in those terms. Sure. And, you know, he, everything he has done and everything he has become is because of him. Right. Making, making it happen and so you know I think for all of the people and all of, you know everybody who has challenges over the course of their life that that there's a lesson there and there's something of value even though they may not be able to achieve it to pursue your dreams to give everything to it and you know to live your life truthfully towards that and and you know you see somebody who's done that fully and completely and that's interesting a no question we can't wait to see the film. We're very excited. We know y'all are very busy and you've got to move on. And we are grateful that you would include Park City Television. Thank you so much. Always. I hope you have a fantastic <laughs> festival. Thank yep. you. Welcome back as well. Yep. And uh, we will look forward to seeing the film. And best wishes for great success that we're sure will come. Thank well, you. Yeah, we're more thankful yes. to Park City for hosting the festival. and making it so we can be here. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. You take care. All right, you guys, we got to get out of here. That is Take Every Wave, The Life of Laird Hamilton. We'll be right back.